Saudi, one of my favorite countries to travel to. Here is my travel guide of my top recommendations of things to do, see, eat, where to stay, and how to travel around this country. From Jeddah to Riyadh, Medina to beautiful Mecca, welcome to Saudi. If you want a more in-depth guide to your trip to Saudi, then definitely check out welcomesaudi.com. I'll link it down in the description box. Welcome Saudi is a website with a full in-depth guide to your trip around Saudi, combining all of the best things under one platform. Anything from the amazing restaurants, places to see, the historical aspects, as well as flights domestically, flights into Saudi, and also how to book hotel rooms and some of the best hotel rooms I've ever stayed in in the entire world. One of the best sections, of course, is the hotel section. One of my favorites because it really helped me to book my hotel in Mecca. I was determined to find a hotel room with a view of the Kaaba. And with the help of Welcome Saudi, I definitely did. I ended up staying at the Swiss Hotel Al Maqam and the view from my hotel room was, I think, one of the best hotel rooms you can ever have. Take a look at this. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu One of the best hotel room views, right? It was phenomenal. If you're planning your trip to Saudi, then please check out welcomesaudi.com. It made my trip so much easier than if I was planning it alone. It gave me all of the best recommendations and I love it. So if you're heading to Saudi, check it out. And now here are my top favorite things to do here in Saudi. Jay. Jay. Yeah, from London. One minute after I arrived, they've already given me a try. This happens every day? Yes. Every day, yeah. Okay. People are very kind. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have fun. <laughs> Okay, so I've just made it inside the Kingdom Tower. The Sky Bridge should just be ahead of us. Inside, the tower are full of high-end stores. And yeah, here's the Sky Bridge. Let's get a ticket and head up to the top floor. It's about 300 meters high, making it the tallest building and tallest tower in the whole of Saudi Arabia. So let's head up. We've just arrived here at the top of the Kingdom Tower. 99 floors up, 300 meters high, making it the tallest tower in the whole of Saudi Arabia. These views are epic, take a look at this. So busy. Big bake, sandwich, spicy, spicy yes. With cheese or no cheese? Cheese. And one chicken fillet sandwich. Whoa. That smells incredible. Look at the size of this. It's got cheese, chicken, bismillah. Mmm, it's spicy, but I want more spice. Come on. I love spicy food so much. Yeah, so far the people are amazing. The food is really good. 
It's super modern, which I did not expect. There are cinemas, music playing everywhere. The people, of course, are amazing. And yeah, so far, an amazing experience. Today I'm flying to Jeddah, finally, I'm so excited. It's eight in the morning, my flight is in about an hour and 30 minutes. So let's head inside and finally fly to this beautiful city. Salam and Masalke from beautiful Jeddah, Saudi Arabia's second largest city on the Red Sea coast. Uh, right now we're in the Balad, which is basically the old heart or the old city um, of Jeddah. This used to be Jeddah, like this it, this was it. There were like walls around to protect itself because Jeddah was like a, a, a port city. So it was kind of uh, rich because people would import into Saudi through the ports. Um, but after in the, what was it, like 1970s or 80s, they moved from this, the Balad, the old city, out towards the north so this has kind of become like the cultural center of Jeddah so this right here is the Shafi mosque which was built just under 1000 years ago and it's one of the oldest places here in the city it's prayer time now so I'm gonna head inside and check it out <laughs> We'll try it. This is probably the biggest date I've ever seen. Mm. It's good? Oh, it's good. It's called Majdul and it's from Medina. Mm. See, I didn't know that, I just asked them. <laughs> it's amazing, it's huge. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Whoa, it's great. Good weather. Yeah. Comfortable seats. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. I haven't ridden a bike in so long. <laughs> So when you're cycling, there's a huge cycle pass just in the middle of the entire street. We're gonna cross over now and head to the beach. Wow, this is beautiful. She, she's saying okay guys we've got the beautiful cabs here we've got the lamb and the chicken i'm joined by nada yes uh hi i'm nada i'm i'm not from saudi but i'm born and raised here i'm part yemeni part indonesian and i'm glad yeah. to meet you today here bismillah let's eat so we're gonna grab the spicy sauce mm. put it on top and this is what's this yogurt basically it's like yogurt we're gonna mix that both together mm -hmm. this meat is so tender it's been cooking for eight hours in coal underground. The smell is insane. And here I'm gonna eat with my hands. Nada is gonna eat with her <laughs> spoon, which is okay, you can do both. So don't come for her in the comments. <laughs> okay, this one. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's really good. Made it down to the beautiful Corniche, ready for sunset. See the incredible sunset behind me. So many people here, it's so busy. This was the coffee store we went to earlier. Super, super busy now, it's so beautiful. This has to be one of my favorite spots so far in Saudi. People are super friendly. It's a beautiful, I'm gonna stop and take in this beautiful sunset. Just sit there. Ok, 
okay as you can hear the azan is going off call to prayer so i'm gonna head to the mosque it's so beautiful down here guys if you come into jeddah you definitely have to spend sunset here it's amazing <laughs> Good afternoon everybody, I've just made it here to the airport but I'm not travelling by plane today, I'm travelling by train here in Saudi. They have an amazing railway system so I'm really really excited to check it out today. I'm travelling from Jeddah to Medina and I can't wait. Salam. Yes. Inshallah. <laughs> Platform number five. Great, thank you so much. Wainna ila Rabbina lamun qalibun. Allahumma inna nas'aluka fi safarina hadha al-birra wa taqwa. Okay, so when you are booking the train ticket, the website is super, super easy. To take the train like I did from Jeddah, to Medina. There's also a train from Medina to Mecca and also Mecca back to Jeddah. Once you click on the website, you click on the tickets and the system is very, very easy. You just click the stations like you are booking a flight. I booked it from the airport. There are two stations in Jeddah and then I just put Medina as the final stop. Chose the date, economy or business. I recommend you go economy if you wanted to save a bit of money. I couldn't really tell a huge difference between both. The train was pretty empty and you can book which wagon you want, which class, which seat, uh, all for free, and you can also bring as much luggage as you want as well. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, so I just finished my group prayer. What a blessing to be able to pray in there. The complex is huge. Wow. Very overwhelmed right now.
Today I'm meeting someone amazing here in Mecca and we will explore some of the most important places here in the city. We started at the Cave of Thal, the cave in which Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him found shelter and also as a hideout in which the Prophet peace be upon him and his companions took refuge for three days and three nights before he drowned on migration. I have my uh, childhood friend. We are going to see him. All right, where are we heading? Where are we going? We are going to Romancia restaurant for our uh, lunch, Monday. Authentic Arab Monday. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna order lamb and also I'm gonna try some camel meat. I think I've had it a few times here in Saudi, but I can't remember, so let's try it. Thank you, brother. Okay, guys, alhamdulillah, we just got dinner. Finally, it's 3.45. <laughs> I'm so hungry. What are we having? Yeah, we having uh, camel meat with pishavri rice and lamb with mandi rice. This is mandi, totally mandi. Mandi meat, meat mandi with meat uh, with mandi rice. Perfect. Yeah. Let's see this one. So we have to like this, so we can eat from anyone. So what are you having first? Mix. Mix. <laughs> Best. <laughs> okay, alhamdulillah, we just finished dinner, lunch. What lunch. time is it? Yeah. <laughs> um, we're just about to head to the mosque now before exploring some of the parts here in beautiful Mecca. <laughs> I said you're not in a Muslim majority country unless you fight for the bill. Yeah. <laughs> All right, of course I have to fill up with some good coffee. I've been up since 4 a.m. and I only slept about three hours last night. But alhamdulillah, we're here in Mecca, so we have to keep exploring this beautiful area of the world. Just came to Duncan. We're gonna drive now to some of the most important historical sites here in beautiful Mecca. Just hopefully, inshallah, before the sun sets. We just prayed and we have a few more hours before the next prayer, so let's go. and nurses yeah. so that mountain prophet peace be upon him prayed there and said this mountain if uh, you want to pray this uh, this is it's the same mosque I told you One place I really needed to see here in Mecca, of course, was Mount Arafat, also known as Jabal al Rahman, the Mount of Mercy. It's where pilgrims head to from Mina on the ninth day of Hajj, holding prayers and reciting the Quran. 
At the end of his life, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, presented his final sermon or farewell pilgrimage speech to the Muslims who had accompanied him on the Hajj. Darudun par salamun par yehi kehna khuda ka hai Khuda ke baat jo hai martaba sulle ala ka hai Wohi sardar alam hai Wohi gham khwar alam hai Wohi to hashir ke maidan mein Sab ki shifat hai Okay, I've just arrived here the, to the beautiful Armasha Al Haram Mosque here in beautiful Mecca. Look at the sunset. Wow, it's so stunning. See the sunsets here. There's a lot of classes going on here, teachings, and a lot of people. It's such a beautiful area here in Mecca. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful day. Umrah last night exploring beautiful Mecca today and hopefully inshallah later I'll go back to the Kaaba and pray I don't want to leave Mecca it's so beautiful so these people here are actually Turkish wow beautiful setting up the dinner of course here Loads of food stalls around here. More people arriving. What a beautiful atmosphere. Abdul is forcing me to have ice cream. <laughs> what do you want? Mango, strawberry, vanilla, chocolate. What's the best? I think I like mango. Let's do mango. Mango with vanilla? Okay, sure. <laughs> wow, probably one of the most beautiful ice cream van locations in the world, right? The vanilla or the strawberry? This man is too kind, he's paying you for everything. You need like this? Sure. <laughs> okay, take this. Strawberry with vanilla. Oh, nice. <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> This mosque called Masjid Al Bayya. Al Bayya means when uh, uh, the Sahabas make bayat on the hands of Prophet, peace be upon him. Sahaba from Medina, Ansar Medina, came here and they did bayat, bayya here at this point and Umar bin Abdul Aziz rahimahullah made this mosque here uh, name of he put the name of this mosque Masjid al Bay'ah also this mosque name is this place name is Bay'at al Aqaba but uh, here happened this is Bay'at al Aqaba before migration of Prophet peace be upon him people of Medina came here and they did Bay'ah here on hands of Prophet peace be upon him and they invited the Prophet to Medina, please come to Medina and we will all do Baya on your hands. So this is the place for remembering this Baya. <laughs> 
वो ही तो हशर के मैदान में सबकी शिफा मोहम्मद कौन नहीं वाली so it's my final Aisha here in beautiful Mecca tomorrow inshallah I will go to Medina let's see maybe I will stay here in Mecca one more day because of course it's amazing so I'm gonna head in pray my final Aisha it's gonna be very sad to leave her I love these houses. They are pretty much designed like Arbalad in Jeddah. So beautiful. Mohammadun Sayyidu Kaunaini Wafakalai